I want to say it'll be a piece of cake, but that's too punny. I can't do that. That that's, makes me want to throw up in my mouth. You, me, T, ukulele. Oh, what are we doing today? I would like to do a songwriting workshop kind of thingy today. Thank you for coming over and chilling in my bedroom. I got my PJs on and uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this. I did put on makeup for this video. This is not how I look before I go to bed. How I look before I go to bed is worse than this. <laughs> so I had to spruce myself up for you. I got some tea. Make sure you make yourself a cup so you can sit and watch. Like I mentioned in my video before, songwriting can sometimes be very, very difficult. And sometimes you have to just write crappy stuff and get it out there so that you have it for later. I'm working on a song right now and I wanted you to join me. This song is called The Confectioner. I wrote it like back this summer, like in August. And I'm just picking it up again now. And look at all these chicken scratches. Oh God. Ah, uh, we got a lot, we got a lot to work on. I want to make this song into something. I've been thinking about it a lot lately. I like would whip it out from time to time and play it, but I'm like, I don't know, there's something about it I'm not feeling. It's not perfect, it's not where I want it to be. This song in a nutshell is about a candy shop owner who wants to try to bake up the perfect sweet to sell in the shop. And I was kind of trying to tie it in to something I was like struggling with in this time in my life, last August. I don't know, post breakup stuff, but like sometimes you want to try to make someone into the perfect version of themselves, but you can't. And no matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you tell them like, oh, you're doing this wrong. If you just did this differently, you could be a different person. You'd be so much better. You can't force someone to change. And also like what you think is the perfect version of them might not be what they think is the perfect version of them, which is why they don't want to change in the first place. So I wanted to take that whole idea of like trying to make someone into the person you want them to be and how that's like basically impossible. So I was trying to tie it into something that's a little more lighthearted because that's a pretty deep topic. So I made it into like a story about a confectioner, chocolatier, whatever, who wants to make the perfect sweet to sell in the shop. Baking up the perfect you is all I ever want to do. Baking up the perfect you is all I ever want to do. I'm trying to bake up the perfect song. <laughs> okay, some lines I really like are Malted you melt in my mouth but with a sweeter finish and a flaky outer shell. That's like very descriptive candy talk and I like it. And then also I like something out of Wonka's brain but I just can't find that perfect glaze. You're enough to window shop but no one stops. I like that too. Something out of Wonka's brain but I just can't find that perfect glaze. So that's reference to Willy Wonka. Ha <laughs> ha! Movie that I was obsessed with as a child. You're enough to window shop but no one stops. So that's like Oh, you're like, not quite. I want to just mm, make it perfect, but I can't. It takes heat to reach a boil. Should I really stir the pot? Okay, for some reason I don't like the repetitiveness of baking up the perfect you. I do like how it like transfers from baking up the perfect you is all I ever want to do. And then it goes to Baking up the perfect you, is that really what I want to do? And then the last time you sing it, it should, it's baking up the perfect you, I never ever want to do, and then it ends like that. I'll find the topping for this cake with a way better taste. I don't like topping for this cake, let's do. I'll find a brand new style of cake. I'll find a fancy flavored cake. Something cake because I have to do with a way better taste. Style, I like how style and find have like the same ah, uh, ah, uh, style, find. I wanna say it'll be a piece of cake, but that's too punny, I can't do that. That that's, makes me wanna throw up in my mouth. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Look at all this, look at this. <laughs> so much crap. Between my calorie intake and a developed tooth decay, between my calorie intake and the developed tooth decay. I love that because like she's trying all the sweets over and over and over and her teeth are getting really rotten because she's just trying so many flavors and candies and chocolates and lemon drops and whatever. My heart's collapsing in your sugar cane. My heart's collapsing in your sugar cane. It's a little dramatic. My heart's disintegrating. My heart's dissolving, convulsing. <laughs> your heart doesn't collapse in a sugar cane. What did I put? What did I put? 
I like disintegrating. I finally disintegrated in your sugar cane. <sighs> That's too many words. It's very Alex Turnery of me to do that. The na da 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 da. I'm going back to 505. It's a seven hour flight or a 45 minute drive. Yeah. That's like so. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna write these down, but on better paper. Chocolates, marshmallows, and lemon drops. Never mind, I'm gonna change that right now. I don't like that. Chocolates and something and lemon drops, because it has to be lemon drops, because that rhymes with shop. Chocolates and lollies and lemon drops. Ah, uh, yeah, I like that. I like it because lollies and lemon drops got that L sound. Yeah, I feel like that's still like way too wordy, which is a common problem I have with songwriting. Making a song simple is very difficult for me. I like the lyrics to be kind of weird or kind of like make you think like, huh, I can't believe she put those two words together, but hmm, it's kind of interesting. I don't ever want to be like basic, boring, cheesy, cliche, none of that. But that's why it's so hard because I'm thinking like, oh, to make it not so cheesy and cliche, I'm gonna describe something in a very different way, but then I end up using too many words. <laughs> It's very difficult. Ah. It takes so much heat to reach a boil. It takes so. It takes. No. It takes so much heat to reach a boil. Da da da. Should it be something that I do? <laughs> Should it be something that I do? <laughs> oh, that English is terrible. Should it be something that I do for the thing? Did I do that for the something that I do? Is this something that I really want to do? Let's see if it's like so wordy. Ah. I'll figure it out. And then the last line, I wrote this and I kind of like it. <laughs> I, I'm talking to no one. I wish I could be like, what do you guys think? Let me know. But by the time I post this, it'll already be written. We have, we have this, we have this. And of course. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna cut this course. And then just go right into between my calorie intake and a developed tooth decay. Okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. This version is better than this version that I had back in August. I'm happy with it, so I'm gonna open the good old trusty laptop and I'm going to record this into GarageBand. And then I gotta figure out something to do for a music video kind of thing. <laughs> Earlier today, I was thinking about baking up some muffins, so <laughs> maybe I'll just do that and have that be like B-roll for this video. All right, well, here we go. I gotta find my microphone somewhere. See you in a bit. Baking up the perfect is all I ever want to do Baking up the perfect you Is all I ever want to do Day after day I work in my shop Chocolates and lollies and lemon drops Molding till I get what fits to please my taste buds every inch. Baking up the perfect you oh, is all I ever want to do. Oh, baking up the perfect you oh, is all I ever want to do. Create a topping or a cake with a way better taste. Way better taste. Malted you'd melt in my mouth, but with a sweeter finish or a flaky outer shell. Oh, 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 oh. baking up the perfect you oh, is something that I have to do. Oh, oh, oh. Baking up the perfect you is all I ever want to do. Something out of Wonka's brain, but I just can't find that perfect glaze. You're enough to window shop, but no one stops. It takes so much heat to reach a boil. Should I stir the pot? Hmm. Between my calorie intake and a developed tooth decay I've disintegrated in your sugar cane Baking up the perfect you Is it something 
I should do Making up the perfect you Is it something that I should do Making up the perfect you Is something I never want to do Making up the perfect you Is something I should never ever do Oh, baking up the perfect you Is something I could never do Oh, baking up the perfect you Is something I could never ever do I guess the candies I have will do